Hi guys! So today I'm doing another room tour and yes I know I do a lot of them. The explanation is pretty simple, it's just that I moved places for every year of university and then we moved into a temporary flat in London while a few of us found jobs and then I moved into a place with my other housemates, Charlie and Ellen, for two years while I saved up some money to get my own place. So this new place is I guess the final level, this is the boss level, because this is my own, hence why I could paint the walls pink. This place I'm really putting my full creative juices into. It is still a work in progress, there's some shelves I want to put up, etc. And I know everyone's been very excited to learn the theme, because I always have a theme, gotta have a theme for your rooms. I really wanted to go back to my roots with this room, take a little bit of inspiration from all the ones I've done so far. So there's a bit of Magical Girl, there's a little bit of Space Beach, as you'll see. Ghibli inspired, kind of whimsy and nature. And a little bit of the kitsch as well from my last room to equal what I'm calling the teenage fantasy TV set bedroom. The idea is I want every area of this room to feel like it could be a set piece from like a Disney Channel original movie or some kind of teen comedy. I want people to come into the room and think this looks like a movie set TV bedroom. It's not what I am, I'm in my 20s, but I just love that vibe and because I love all of those old teen movies and it felt like the best way to kind of amalgamate all of the other themes. So all of the bedroom themes we've had so far have been Magical Girl, Space Beach, a personal fave, Flower Cats, Cozy Kitch, and now I present to you the final level, Teen Fantasy. Let's go! Actually, quickly before we go, if there's any pieces in the room that you're curious about, where I got them, please let me know. There's a lot of like art prints and things that I'll be showing you guys, and craft materials. Not gonna be able to put everything in the description box, I'm not even gonna attempt it, so please feel free to just ask where I got it from. Hi. Hi. So we're starting outside. This is my door. And we open. And it's a bedroom. So here is a little panoramic for you of the room. Every area I've kind of, as I said, I've modelled to look like it could be a staging area. Uh, you can even see the vignette in the mirror there. Everything is supposed to look kind of like teenage chaos, but actually very planned out. I feel like it's in different sections, so I want to know what people's favourites are. So I've got the craft section, I've got the bed section, and then I've got the vanity section. And that's the three sections. So we're going to start with the door. And there is a friend! <gasps> Look, a friend! A moomin! Alright, so moving on to the craft area. I think a lot of people have this desk. I'm very fond of it. My dad says it's a child's desk and I need to get an adult desk. But I like it. It's got lots of room to put your stuff. It's got this extra shelving area on top. I absolutely hate this. These are two separate cupboards, drawers, whatever. They just came with the flat. It's very ugly, but it's very convenient. So I think I'm probably going to paint it pink. Hannah's gonna come over and help with that. On the back of the desk is lots of lovely memories and pictures. This is one of my favorite pieces of art that anyone's done for me uh, by Kibble Canine. And this is my favorite ride photo I've ever got. We went dressed as Santas to Disneyland Paris, yeah. <laughs> went on Tower of Terror. And then this guy, lots of people are asking me, where did you get him from? So he's one of the popcorn buckets you can get from Disney World. Then I've just got like things I use on the rags. Do you guys remember this scrapbook? This was from when I did a cameo voice of Moxie Dewdrop in the movie Trolls and as part of it they asked me to do a video and I wanted to do a scrapbook because Poppy, the lead character, does a scrapbook and I still do it! I'm still using the scrapbook to this day! So I also have, in here is lots of little photo memories when Dodie dyed my hair pink from Disney so anything that might be useful for scrapbooking. This is my pin box. So this is a vintage Mary Poppins lunchbox, uh, which I picked up from D23. This is the place for the pins. This is probably one of my favorite pins right now. My friend Liam runs a shop called Snacky Boy and he has the dumb bitch juice pin, which is very me. I love that the lunchbox has these safety tips on it, on the back. And also we can see who it used to belong to, Patty 
Apicetti. I got some fans because it gets very hot in the summer. This is my, oh look, I got makeup on his face. Oh, it's not even makeup, I'm lying, it's chocolate. My Corilla Kuma pencil case, which I got at Epcot. This is one of the coolest things. I own. This is the Rosewood Hall Library stamp. So the idea is I can stamp any of the Rosewood Chronicles books with it and it looks like it's a property, property of Rosewood Hall Library. You see that? It was my publicist, Simon, who made this for me. It was for the book two tour, Princess in Practice. So I've kept it. I think I'm probably gonna do some giveaways of books that have the property of Rosewood Hall Library in them just because I think it's such a cute little thing. Then we have Pink Harley Quinn and Gwenpool. I just feel like if they existed in the same universe they would get along so I like to keep them together. Then I've got my Noodlerella. Who is she? Who is that? Yeah I've got my Noodlerella plaque. My Connie Glynn one for my other channel is in the bathroom. <laughs> then I got Remy. Everyone knows my favourite Pixar film. It's Ratatouille and I love Remy and I love rat. I love rats so much. So in this Gigi lunchbox, which I also got in Epcot, I eventually want to keep circle lenses in here. I threw out all of my circle lenses recently. I really want to stress that you guys should be throwing out your circle lenses. I found mine and I just couldn't believe I still had them and it was so gross. I'm going to get a whole new set of circle lenses if I do any more cosplays. I'm actually doing one very soon at MCM Expo. I'm going to be doing she -Ra. I think she and the Princess of Power might be my new fave TV show. <laughs> On both sides of the desk, I have my favourite ears. So I got these donut ears at Disney World. And then I got these handmade ears. Oh, excuse me. Yes, I just said excuse me to a chair. These are the Bambi ears. Bambi is my favourite Disney movie of all time. If you've read The Rose of Chronicles, you'll know that deer are pretty important to me. I put deer motifs in Nos Ivy. And I've literally got some deer behind me on my poster. So these are made by Hannah Marie Magic. And they're Bambi ears. And these are my favorite ears ever. And speaking of this poster, this I actually ordered on Amazon. I bought myself the frame and turned out Amazon was the best place to look. They had a really, really nice selection of old tourist posters. So obviously I love the aliens from Toy Story. If you can't tell, he's my child. I've got a collection of notebooks here as well. And this was a special treat that people on the book tour for Undercover Princess could get. So this was the Rosewood Hall Ivy House one. They also had a Conch House and a Stratus one in red and yellow respectively. This is really cool. I feel like showing you guys lots of my mermaid stuff at the moment because it is mermaid. And then in these drawers is more arts and crafts stuff. So much stuff so yeah this is more just like stickers and oh I need to stick that up I've decided I'm going to start sticking up all of my film screening invites and then these drawers in the desk again here is lots of prints and greetings cards happy birthday cards Christmas cards get well soon cards and then this as well that Jean my friend drew of me that's me. I can't recommend command strips, command hooks, command everything enough. It's so useful. And then in here is my sketchbooks and more arts and crafts stuff. Can you believe it? And yes, this is a very, very cool rosette I got from one of you guys at one of the book tours. And I need to put up another area because I want this to go right there. It has its own little plate. And then in here, this is more arts and crafts stuff. Again, more greetings cards and things. And then the one below it is mostly pens. And I've got this seat. This was a total coincidence. So my grandma bought me this as a bit of a housewarming gift. And then a friend of the family bought me this. And the two go together perfectly. And that is the entire craft area. So next we're gonna go to the vanity zone. This area was very stressful to do because it was the first area in the room where I was properly putting up my pictures. So I framed a bunch of them and then I just spent about, I'm gonna say a solid two hours trying to decide where I was gonna put them because it feels like once you've got them up, there's no going back really. And again, because I wanted it to look like, oh, I just kind of thrown them up and not thought much about it, but actually I thought about it a lot. So over here I've got Peter Pan's 
Flight. This is from a collection of park posters that you can buy in Disneyland Paris, and they're all specifically the Disneyland Paris rides. Down here, I've got Ponyo and the Totoro fan. So again, these are actually greetings cards. You buy them and you send them in a little envelope and you write your message on the back, but I thought they were nice enough to just put up. Then I've got Mononoke. These are lots of my favorite Ghibli films have a little homage on the wall. Best witches. I have a lot of Balfrey prints. Then again, I've got she -Ra. This is obviously a birthday card, but I cut it down to fit into the frame. I really like she -Ra. I'm very excited to cosplay her. This is the most excited I've been to do a cosplay in a very, very long time. Hopefully I'll see some of you guys at MCM in the she -Ra cosplay. <laughs> this is another beautiful bit of art that one of you guys sent to me and I literally always forget your at but you will probably see this and, and tweet me again. This cat therapy one, again, another greetings card that I just thought was really cute. And then my favorite Ghibli film down here, when Marnie was there. That film makes me cry a lot. And then again, another beautiful Ghibli print. I love this so much. This one I ordered from Japan and I got it imported. And I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it so much. Then I've got more rosettes. So this is Fries Before Guys from my friend's shop. And then this galaxy one, in case you didn't know, me, Abby, Kelsey, and Becky, we call ourselves Galaxy with a four. And we got these rosettes made for Summer in the City about three years ago, I wanna say. This is a old vanity, vintage, that needs repainting still, but I kind of like the, the wear on it. Possibly I'm gonna paint it like a minty color, but I will see, you know, I'm not 100% sure. These flowers are fake. <laughs> Most of my flowers are fake because I kill every single plant I touch. It is sad bad time. So these are my go-to perfumes and sprays. This is one that I made myself out of rose water. Then I've got Regina George because I feel like she's a good person to have judging my makeup routine. This is one of the coolest things I own. This is a Kylo Ren USB port. And if you plug it into your computer, there's a 30 second clip of a Kylo Ren voice impersonator wishing me a happy birthday. And it was a gift from my friend, Abby. <laughs> and I will cherish it my whole life. Hair things, and also this character from Nagima, who I can't even remember her name. And we got bits and bobs. And oh, would you look at that, more deer memorabilia. I definitely have a bit of a deer obsession. Oh, maybe there is such a thing as too pink, but I haven't found it yet. <laughs> Makeup box, accessories box, so there's mostly hair accessories. And then underneath is like general accessories, like suspenders, but I see BA to go through everything. This is mostly jewelry in here. I am really not a jewelry person, if you guys hadn't noticed. I just always forget to put it on. I'm not very good at knowing like what accessories work and how to accessorize. I mostly just wear like fake glasses or headbands and things like that. So yeah, I don't have any expensive jewelry because I always say like there's no point in buying me any expensive jewelry because I don't know how to wear it. I don't know what I'm doing. Now, moving on to the most important area of the room, the bed zone. So as it is mermaid, I am currently reading The Surface Breaks by Louise O'Neill. A lot of you recommended this to me. I'm about 100 pages in and I'm really enjoying it. I'm kind of hoping it's gonna get gay, as I always do. Very stressful, but it's good. Over here is my Steven Universe art. This is one of my favorite pieces that I own. It was a limited edition charity run, so they weren't selling very many of them. And I just think it's beautiful with Rose holding her baby. Oh, little cute Steven. Then I got some fresh cut roses scented stuff. Give it a smell. Mmm, delish. This is my go-to water cup from my bedside table, just because I feel like it, it matches the cushions. Then some fake orchids to give the room some fake oxygenization. And then this surprise. I got this at Tokyo Disney World because it was around Halloween season about four years ago was when I went. Oh, that seems too long ago. And I love this so much. This is one of my favorite things I've ever bought. Down here is stuff that I use quite often around bedtime, so makeup wipes, even though, oh, I hate these and I don't buy makeup wipes. I don't know how these ended up in my possession because I just hate how much waste there is with those packs of makeup wipes. Um, and you can just wash a flannel and use it again. This is my go-to rosacea remedy right now. If any of you guys also have rosacea, I cannot recommend this enough. I don't know how it would be for people with just like skin problems, but if you specifically have like acne rosacea, 
this is really good. And last is my sketchbook, because I like to draw before I go to bed. Maybe one day I'll do a sketchbook tour. I don't know. In here is meds, so my daily contraceptive pill, which is only progesterone now, because the last one made me loopy. And then the bed. So these are the chosen ones who got to sleep on my bed. And then we've got Cinema Roll, Kirilla Kuma, and Miss Bunny. So I did a mix and match of the bedding this time. Again, to give it that vibe of teenage chaos, but actually very planned and thought out like a film set. So this is the like magical girl bedding from a company called Banggood with three Gs, I believe. And then this is the very hot off the presses strawberry bedding, which lots of people have been getting at the moment. I like to think I was part of that trend. Keep all of my bags. This is my eater bag with all my pins on. And oh, would you look at that? It's Bambi again. These are so cute, but we're all got a little bit dirty. Fell in the water. Then up here is Memory Zone. Again, this kind of looks chaotic, but it was really carefully planned out. There's another Valfrey piece, and I thought Noodle Girl. And then some fun Polaroids from different events. Moomins more lovely art. I keep every single card, letter, piece of art, little drawing, little trinket that anyone gives me. I'll probably show you them a minute when I go in the closet. I've got just these boxes and boxes and boxes of all the stuff. And every time I move into a new place, I'll go through them and I'll pick a few of the things that I want to put up. Put up. This one, Connie Glynn as a Slytherin. I thought it was very cute and fit nicely on here. And there's another piece of art over there that went up on the wall. And this time I also used these stickers, which I got a long time ago at Playlist in Florida by Space Shebase, Shebase. And she also did these little stickers of me, which I thought was so cute. I'll take my slippers off. Not gonna get my dirty slippers on the bed. Again, ta-da, these are my favorite things that Command does. These are the Command Fairy Light hooks. And I just thought it'd be so cute to have little things hanging. Um, so I even used them to hang up the buttons. This was the very, very first premiere I was ever invited to for Cinderella, which felt very special to me. So this I got from Tokyo, this is from Tokyo, this is from Tokyo, from Tokyo, from Tokyo, from Tokyo, from Tokyo. And then more mermaids! I'm feeling very inspired by mermaid. I love Pretty good at so much. Look how cute my friend Tom looks in the pretty good at. Last thing I'm gonna give a very quick mention to is these curtains, cause my, my bedroom is quite exposed. So I just hung up these curtains myself. I just got like a tension rod and put it in. And I am obsessed. It's so nice at nighttime when you're in the bed and it's dark in here and it's bright from the city lights outside. And it feels like you have these stars like glowing in from the window. And it's just a really nice, warm cozy feeling when you're in bed and you can see the stars. I think that's about everything in the room and you're probably wondering where does she keep all her clothes? So let me show you. So at the moment I've also got a green screen and all of the paintings I'm waiting to put up. This is my very ugly lit closet but I love it. There's this huge mirror and then you open it up and clothes <laughs> and storage. And down here is many, many boxes of letters and art and bits and bobs people have done for me. And cosplay, so many cosplays that I've collected over the years. And my ice skates. This whole area feels like it's attached to the bedroom. So you've got like the closet space. And it's nice to take outfit shots here too. So I think that is everything now. I'm very happy with what I've managed to do in just like a few weeks of being here. And it's nice to know I'm gonna be here for a while now. So thank you for coming to see my cream, but, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.